Hello, this is Father Ken Lau, and uh, welcome to the new episode of Nuggets for the Soul. The U.S. election is coming up this November 3, so it's just a few weeks from now. And um, there's a lot of like Catholics from the U.S., our brothers and sisters there, who are confused on whom to vote. Uh, there's a lot of attacks on uh, Biden you know, for his pro-abortion laws uh, stand, and also there's attacks on uh, Donald Trump uh, because of his immigration and other uh, other things, right? And uh, so people uh, people are confused on whom to vote. Now, this video is not to tell you whom to vote. Okay, just want to make clear of that. I'm just gonna present uh, some church documents to help form your conscience so that you will be able to know who to vote. In today's gospel reading, uh, October 18. Uh, somebody asked Jesus, is it lawful to uh, offer up taxes to Rome? And Jesus said, show me a coin. So somebody showed the coin, and Jesus said, Who's, whose face is on it? And whose inscription? And, they, and he, the person said, it's Caesar's. Then Jesus said, give to Caesar's what belong to Caesar's, but give to God what belong to God. Okay, of course, the coin has the face of Caesar belongs to him. Give it to him. Okay? But what he's saying is that for us human beings, we were created in the image and likeness of God. We must give ourselves first to God. The, the, our first identity is Christian yeah? before our nationality, whether that's American, Canadian, whatever nationality, and before any political party that we are supporting, okay? whether that's Republican, or Democrat for us here in Canada, whether it's conservative or uh, liberal. Okay, first we must we are Christians. That is our identity. Now it doesn't mean that uh, we should not obey the law of the the our country. In Romans chapter thirteen, verse one to three, it says, "Let every person be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from God, and those that exist have been instituted by God." Therefore, he who resists the authorities resists what God has appointed, and those who resist will incur judgment. Okay? Now, the scripture, we need to follow this, assuming that our government is implementing laws that are, not in, uh, that are in accordance with the law of God. Now, I don't know if you've heard about the concept of separation between church and state. Uh, that concept reinforces the legal right of a free people to freely live her, their faith even in public without fear of government coercion, which means the government couldn't interfere us with the practice of our faith. But it also says that we should not interfere uh, with, with politics, with how the government runs the country. But doesn't mean that we could not voice out our concern especially if the government is implementing laws that are not in accordance with the will of God. In uh, Sacramentum Caritatis, uh, apostolic exhortation written by Pope Benedict XVI in 2012, in section 89, it says there, it is not the proper task of the church to engage in the political work of bringing about the most just society possible. Nonetheless, she cannot and must not remain on the sidelines in the struggle for justice. The church has to play her part through rational argument, and she has to reawaken the spiritual energy without which justice, which always demands sacrifice, cannot prevail and prosper. Okay. Uh, again, on another document, uh, church document on Second Vatican Council uh, on Gaudium et Spes, uh, which means church in the modern world. In section 76, it says there, it is only right, however, that at all times and in all places, the church should have true freedom to preach the faith, to teach her social doctrine, to exercise her role freely among men, and also to pass moral judgment in those matters which regard public order when the fundamental rights of a person 
or the salvation of souls require it. Okay, so we need to voice out our concern. Okay, uh, now there's a lot of issues that are you know in in in, in the U.S. election issues about immigration, issues about the environment, issues about taxation, uh, issues about gun control, uh, issues about abortion. All those issues are relevant, <clears throat> but not equal. I'm not saying others are not important. It's not equal. Some are more important because they are foundational. And uh, there are three non-negotiables in the church document of Sacramentum Caritatis in section 83. It says there, Worship pleasing to God can never be a purely private matter without consequences for our relationship with others. It demands a public witness to our faith. Evidently, this is true for all the baptized. Yes, yet it is especially incumbent upon those who, by virtue of their social or political position, must make decisions regarding fundamental values such as respect for human life, its defense from conception to natural death, the family built upon marriage between a man and a woman, the freedom to educate one's children, and the promotion of the common good in all its forms. These values are not negotiable. Consequently, Catholic politicians and legislators conscious of their grave responsibility before society must feel particularly bound on the basis of a properly formed conscience to introduce and support laws inspired by values grounded in human nature. Okay, so what are the three non-negotiables? The protection of the sanctity of life from conception to natural death. The second non-negotiable is the sanctity the protection of the sanctity of marriage between a man and a woman. The third non-negotiable is that the preservation of religious liberty. Okay, so from the two parties that are you know between the Democrats and the conservative, who among the two are protecting the sanctity of life? Who among the two is protecting the sanctity of marriage? Who among the two is preserving religious liberty? Okay, so hopefully, you know, this video has helped form your conscience in order to vote wisely. You know, uh, as I've said, we are first Christians before whatever nationality, Americans, Canadians, or and even before whatever political party that's to support with. Be a living saint, Jesus, Mary, Joseph. We trust in